I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, me and Top had even a little back and forth debate about it. I didn't feel like Lil Yachty was wrong. I'm going to play the clip and then we can kind of give our points and our takes and our opinions on it. <laughs> All right. So well, I know I'm right. So I'm what's okay. up? Okay. okay cool. come on. So let's go back to 2015. We was at my mama's house, right? <laughs> I'm at my mama's house. Now Mitch is like two or three years older than me. All right. Now Mitch came to me and for many years, you didn't just start making beats, by the way. You've been making beats since who knows how long you've been making beats for a very long time. All right. And up until How long have we been doing this? Okay, so up until about maybe a year and a half ago, two years ago, what, what you spent a lot of time trying to find your steps. Right. Right. But so that's, to that's my make, point. No, 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 no. Imagine if you didn't have a friend who was already extremely successful to help you get on your feet. A lot of people don't have that. So what I'm saying is, how? what do you say? Because you didn't want to get a job. I never even suggested you get a job because I knew you wouldn't get a job. So what do you say to a who like, hey, I see a with a shiny watch. I got a gun, a dusty gun. It's going to take a shiny watch. You know what I'm saying? What do you tell it? I wouldn't, I'm not going to, I'm not going to encourage it, but you got to think about people got I, families. What I'm telling you is it's shit you can tell it. What? Like even what? if, even if, well, what I'm telling you, think about yourself, listen, but no, no, listen, no. Even if then, say, that's what I, that's the point I'm trying to make to you, bro. What point? Even if then, if I wasn't doing shit righteous then, older now. So I would not tell it to do yeah, anything you, like I was doing back yeah, then, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's what I'm trying to tell that's you. That's fine, but you, that's because you've been through, you've been through years of, of, of development. Bro, that's the point of it. So I can, when so I'm saying, that's the you, point. But think about, remove me from this situation. Remove me. I was never in your life. What the fuck would you have been doing? Who I feel like you might have been doing that shit. Who knows what you would have been doing if you ain't if if you ain't have a to show you. Uh, yeah, a, a, a right what are you saying, bro? I'm saying that what you're saying is not. It's not. You're not. You're not like it's not true. You wouldn't tell it. Hey man, just go get a job, man. No, I ain't saying. Thing. I ain't saying no. That's not. That's uh, what you said is fucked up. Yeah. For what Yadi said. Yeah. But what? Because what why you keep say? putting? Because whatever. I guess the conversation prior to the con before before that whole what's name. I guess they was talking about somebody robbing or trying to get it out the mud type of shit. And he was basically trying to say, "Nah, you need to find another way, get a job or whatever." And basically, he was like, "Well, if it wasn't for me, you probably be doing the same thing." But which I feel is wrong. If you as a friend, yes, you were more successful, but you basically be like, I wouldn't have been shit without you. No, that's I'm, not that's not what he's saying. He but uh, he's not saying you wouldn't be shit without him. But he's saying that he allowed you the luxury to be able to figure it out without having the pressures of one going to rob somebody or two to even have to go get a job. Right, but that's but but I'm still trying to. Uh, but what I'm trying to tell you is, me being getting older and matured, I found out that's not the right thing to do. Yes, me younger. If you would have asked me that same question, yes, I would have told you. Oh, go rob the nigga. You can flip this and do all that. But me, but Trump, but you keep trying to sun me and say, oh, well, if it wasn't for me, if you wasn't, if I wasn't taking care of you, you wouldn't be but at I this. Don't, but I don't necessarily know. That's what it, it, but that's no, what it, no, it sounded like to me when it came off where he was trying to sun him. Like, well, take me out of the picture. But I didn't even put you in the picture. I'm telling him to get a job. Don't do that. Because shit. No, because I think but what it is. But I think, again, even if we tie that back into the original conversation, as soon as I, we started recording, I said, I don't want to judge people because I understand life be life. -in, but I'm only judging the parents who waited the last minute and you've been going on, on vacations all the time. Because if you actually just didn't have it and you had no choice but to wait until the last minute then cool it is what it is that i'm not talking to you i'm talking to the people who made other decisions so i hear what yadi was basically sitting here saying is like it's easy for you to sit here and tell a nigga don't get a job because you didn't never have was forced to go get one so that's what he's saying is yeah he said because what's the what is realistically what is the give that what you can't get realistically mitch can't give somebody a, a, a honest alternative because he didn't you didn't do the honest alternative everybody don't have a friend that's little yachty and you can kind of even tie that in to parents like everybody don't have the luxury of sitting here saying oh i can go back home or if my shit my parents left me this amount of money think about how many people the shit did parents passed away and their kid and they left their kids a bunch of money and niggas was just acting a fool running through money and then some people kid parents who passed away and their parents ain't leave them shit but then that's why i say i still think he can still have a choice he, yes you might have looked out for me but i could i could have you could have looked out for me and i still could have been out here doing fuck shit and then jeopardizing you to lose your shit because you represent me 
So that's what I'm saying. I just the way he was sounding, it was just like you were trying to belittle him. Like without me, you wouldn't be. You know what I'm saying? I think I, mean, I, I think that's just I, the way he. I think that's just the way people took it because I think if you realistic, if you if, if you don't put yourself in somebody like if you don't put yourself in yadi shoes where he trying to tell his man it's like you can't speak high and mighty until niggas don't rob somebody if you're not gonna give them a better alternative and mitch haven't had that if you haven't even came up with a better alternative because you didn't have to so you just basically you telling somebody don't go out here and rob and they don't got nothing else to their name but this dirty gun what else do you you don't you haven't even applied yourself to figure out another way so how can you tell somebody else not to do that but i can see how many people crashed out and lost everything i'm just trying to give you the like i said me being an adult or even being more mature now i've seen niggas who i did grow up with who did do that and where it turned them i'm trying to tell you now don't be that person yeah but yes, I, you but, gave me so the, you might have gave I, me the platform and and all that but, but that's what that's why I say I just feel like that the way he came off is just like I'm sunny you like nah you you know what I'm saying without me you wouldn't be nothing. I, I hear what you're saying, but the, to me a better if you if you have an experience is a hard it's a hard conversation now because it's easy perfect because me and top had this conversation all the time we'd be like that it'd be like fucking 40 niggas outside nigga drugs don't sell like they used to back in the day. So for the fact that it's still 40 niggas just standing outside in the neighborhood, you ain't making money like back in the day when 40 niggas was outside. So you're sitting here saying, realistically, I can tell you like, hey, what, how much did you make profit today? Okay, you sit here and say, well, man, I made $80 profit. Because you might, let's sit here and say you made 160 or you made 200 but if you had to pay, for, let's say if you made 160 but you had to pay 120 for some pack. I'm just throwing out a number right now. So realistically, you may only made fucking $60 profit. No, you could have just went for that hour, that whole day it took you to make 160 How many hours you been out here? Man, I've been out this zone since 8 a.m. Oh, it's 8 p.m. Nigga, you could have went and worked in a warehouse and got $20 an hour and you could have made 160 completely profit. And, and when they didn't even have to work all them extra hours, you could have sit here and got a warehouse job and work them same. You just basically did a 12 hour shift. You did a 12 hour shift for $60 just because you didn't want to go get a job. Now I could tell somebody, you, you can go do this same exact thing for $20 an hour at this target warehouse at this fucking, um, Safeway warehouse, any of these warehouse jobs, Amazon or anywhere and literally do that same 10 hour shift and make, now I'm giving you a different option. I'm telling you something for a fact that you can go do, but instead of me just sitting here saying, if you ain't never been through nothing, you can't even give me a, you can't even give me a good hypothetical for to make me think something but then, twice. But, that, but then that's like me stepping on like, man, you can't listen to him. I've been taking care of him or I've been looking out for him. I gave him that, that, that drugs. That's the only way he know that. That's me. That's, that's what it sounds like with Yachty. You stepping on, you, how you just explained that. That's me coming over here like, well, how can you sit here and tell him that if I was the one who fronted you that weed? And without yeah, but me, no, you but wouldn't even know but, how. But listen, but that on that, you you can't you can't step on what I just said because I'm giving somebody a I'm giving you a I'm I'm broke it down to you and I broke the math down and I'm telling you the exact thing not to you're wasting your time because you only made sixty dollars and you've been out this bitch for twelve hours. But that's what I'm saying. But that's how Yachty sound like that's he, he was he, no he's not stepping on it because you ain't giving me no you ain't giving me no alternative because you ain't been you ain't have not had that you you have not hit hard times to give me your own life experience. You're just telling me don't do it because you didn't do it. You ain't, what's your heart? Give me an experience. You can't tell somebody not to do something if you don't have an alternative for them to do something better. But you don't and think that's, that's hard time by me sleeping on a, on your couch at your mom's house? That's hard times, right? But you, what did you still, but you didn't still have to get, you didn't have no pressure to have to get a job. It's easier to change. If I don't have to go to work, it's easier for me to focus on a, on a job, I mean, on a career path or chase my dreams if I don't have to worry about sitting here going to go get a job or have to go to work at all. So no, he didn't work, have no hard times. It's hard to sit here and tell a nigga, I got zero to my name. I'm literally outside. It's a bunch of niggas outside flossing with chains and guns. A nigga pull up in the hood with a brand new car and I got a guy. That's why all them young niggas flash guns you know we live in a generation especially in 2024 and that's why we even when we started off the conversation and we talk about the young niggas who is so easy think about how easy it now is to go viral with just a ski mask and a gun the young niggas don't even got to flash no money no more you can be broke and be a pop and rapper now or you as long as you got a ski mask and a gun so what's the alternative it's so hard to tell people because guess what again when we talking about trying to tell kids to stop rapping about the guns or you don't got to be a drill rapper guess what nobody can give them an alternative way to get them same amount of views without them guns you know why because i had this conversation i tried to have this conversation with top little brother a million times but you guess what i can't is you is the hardest thing is because now they have seen it work for 20 different rappers and if all they looking at is the youtube views but i can't show them somebody else with them same amount of views that didn't put the ski mask in the gun on what the fuck can i say it's nothing i can say it's i'm literally gonna be arguing with the wall because they got proof of concept this is work for somebody else you can't show me that it didn't work you can't show me the next person who lit that it didn't work for in this time frame 
So that's the same thing. That's why I'm saying I think people is is easy to sit here and say Lord Yachty was trying to son him. I don't think he would even have room to son him if Mitch has actually had real life experiences that he can express himself from. And that's why it sounds just like, oh, he's sonning him. No, he ain't sonning him. He's just keeping it a buck with him. Like, nigga, you just had you had an easier path. So it's easy to sit here and tell people don't do this crime if you didn't never have to realistically figure out like, damn, I don't have no other way to eat. And if you came up with another way to get you a fucking hamburger and some fries with without my help, or then OK, then tell them. But you ain't never had that experience. So how you just realistically you give a nib- niggas a hypothetical from out of the thin air, out of your ass and you ain't done. You haven't done nothing. So I'm not mad. Like maybe if you say here saying it's a time or place to call it out. But you can't sit here and say that because I can sit here and say that you use that against me all the time. But you ain't got no kids. Nigga, that's a, but that's the truth. I don't. So now I have to find another way to argue my point because you're absolutely right. Every time we having a conversation about kids, niggas, 30 episodes, I'm not, you're not wrong for saying that. That's a part of your argument. You say it every time when we talk about kids with well, Mikey, you don't got no kids. So now guess what I have to do? I cannot keep talking if I don't have a real argument to figure out how can another way can I make my point and I don't have kids. Motherfuckers still love the conversations every time we talk about bad parents and everybody who listens to the show know I ain't got kids. You know why? Because I still got fucking life experiences and I know what the fuck I'm talking about. So when we talk, so that's my point. He didn't, he didn't have no legit fucking way to back his argument up to tell a nigga don't rob somebody. So Yadi just called like, bro, you can't tell niggas don't do it. And you ain't never even had the option to do it. What's wrong with that? But okay, but like, so when you we, even when you use the whole not having kids thing, but that's but even with that conversation, it's like you never took the chance to, right? No. So so then so but you don't know if you can, right? So if you never even took the chance to, that's that that's like that like like you just said using that example, how you you speaking on it or you saying it, and then if I come, like, well, how can you say? It? But if you never even took the chance, or if you don't even know if you can make kids, then how is that that that's the, like well. But me shitting on you and saying, oh, well, no, nah, you can't talk that because you don't know that. But that, but that's what I'm saying. I'm trying to be little, but you talking off your experience of what you've done. And that's why I'm saying the way Yachty came off is just like you trying to belittle him and make him down like, nah, you shouldn't be even talking at all because I took care of you. I, but look, but even again, what you just said, I, somebody could sit here and sit here and take. Let's say, for example, if I didn't have no real arguments or I didn't believe firm in my stance, somebody could sit here and say, "Well, Mikey, that, damn, Marcus, you just be little Mikey, like, damn, you don't even know if you can have fucking kids because you ain't tried." Like, nigga, imagine if I, if you say this to a woman, a bitch will blow up in your face off of that. But, but, imagine if I was a girl and you just said what you just said. But Erica, do you think that could fly if I no, was a girl? You say that to me. But that's what I'm saying. So, but that, but that was a perfect example. So that's no, why it's because guess no, it's not because guess what? I don't give a fuck. Cause I ain't trying to have no kids, right? So that don't not, hurt my feelings, nigga. But you're not trying to have no kids. That that's what I'm saying. So your what you saying, your experience. But my thing is, when when he said that, and he was just like, "Well, you, I was, you know, without me being there, how would you know?" That's just like, well, if you never tried it, how would you know? So that's what that's what I'm saying. The way he came off of it, my only thing about that said that whole rant or whatever he did, the way he came off of it was like you trying to belittle him. Like, damn, you can't do such and such, you know, without me. That's I'm, what I took it at from there. From you wouldn't have been nothing without, without me. me. That's what I said. Like, you didn't even let him get it off because he was like, well, what you really trying to say? I, I think he probably I don't know if he would have felt like that if he right. Maybe maybe because of me because and, and then look at the rest of the shit that he went on a rant about. Like you basically pretty much like without me, y'all wouldn't be shit like the whole group shit when he started going on his rant. But I, I mean, I hear you. I guess if people could just say it's a time and a place because I don't necessarily know if he was lying. I wouldn't know who that fucking group was. if it was him. I wouldn't know who Mitch was if it wasn't for no, Yadi. You, you absolutely right. But that's my thing. You 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 make it like, well, damn, like, nigga, I ain't, I'm pretty much ain't shit if I wasn't with you. I mean, so you be like I said, you be little. That's why that's what my only thing. Like I said, he could, whether he said it or I'm just saying he was wrong the way he came at him. It's like you be little him like you. You less of a man without me. I mean, I guess I don't. I, I feel like we, if I guess I, I don't know. I, I feel like that shit. Is, I mean, when you in the midst of podcasting, I, I don't know. I, I can't. Me personally, I just I heard it and I felt like all right. It's like if you had a valid point or if you kind of had a real talking point, I feel like you could have talked yourself out of that conversation. Like, but if you haven't had no real experience, ain't nothing you can say. All you can do, is like, damn, that's fucked up. He belittled his man because yeah, because his man didn't have a real fucking point. How can you dictate his point? You know what I'm saying? Like he could have said, "My experience was such and such," but you was right, already... so, so, okay. So what was his experience then? Just take I, don't, it from... I didn't listen to the whole part. That's what I'm saying. From what that clip, I'm, that's what my whole argument is. From the clip that I just heard and the way he was saying it, you was like basically belittle him. I didn't like I said. I don't know what he was trying to explain before. I didn't. I don't listen to it. So that's what I'm saying. But just off the clip that I heard, it was like, "Damn, nigga, without me, you wouldn't be shit." 
That's what I took it from that what you just played. That's what I took it from. Cause like I said, I don't know what the conversation was prior to it. I, I mean, yeah, I like I said, I mean, I guess it maybe just Yachty just had I mean, you have he having a rough week. He got a he got a lot of shit on his plate. He's trying to figure it out. I don't necessarily know. I mean, because I, I don't necessarily know if Yachty would even have had this fucking same take fucking a year ago. Like I just, he on a run, he's smelling himself, and niggas don't give him no credit. So I'm not mad at him for just like he might have just had a moment. People, okay, cool. If you say he was wrong, he's out of pocket. I think everybody just had their moments. He was probably he just felt I ain't gonna say he feeling himself. Niggas shit on Yachty. Yachty niggas shit on niggas find every reason to shit on Yachty. Niggas every time God, I'm tired of seeing Drake with Yachty and this and there. Yachty probably be like, bro, and Drake don't take up for him or say shit. He just let niggas shit on him and keep saying it. Where it's to the point he probably be like, man, bitch, Drake wouldn't even had that fucking her loss. Wouldn't even slap if I wasn't all over that motherfucker. I know he feel that way, but guess what? He can't say it. So when he had these little moments, he might have just like, damn, enough is enough. I'm stressed out. I'm going to just spaz out. Because niggas be on Yachty neck and don't give this nigga no credit for nothing. So, I mean... I mean, I guess, uh, like I said, I ain't, I'm not mad at Lil Yachty. I guess, like I said, if Mitch had a better point, and, and just and Mitch ain't a good podcast, and even niggas watch it because they like, I guess, I don't know, I don't, I don't know to tell niggas. Niggas need to get a better fucking point of view. Uh, in other news.